Hey folks, Country Prepper here. Well, I'm out in the shop and uh, finishing up. I got the raffle sheath done finally. So if you want to win that knife and sheath, go over to my website, countryprepper.com, get your entries. But uh, I just thought I'd shoot a quick video and uh, let you guys know. It's been a while since I put out a video and I haven't been putting out a lot of videos over the last few months. And that is just mainly because I've been focusing a lot on my health lately. And uh, what I've been doing, I tried a few different diets, but the one that I am uh, on right now and what seems to be working the best is, and it's a big craze fad diet right now, the ketogenic diet. And I've also been doing a little bit of fasting along with that. Uh, what really kind of uh, cued me up to do this is uh, a video from Canadian Prepper that I saw and he talks about health a lot and he's right that a healthy prepper is a better prepper and so so I started you know I started off like uh, you know just mainly eating you know whole fruits and vegetables nothing packaged nothing processed uh, things like that and uh, that was going pretty good for a while and uh, I started having a lot of uh, issues with you notice my uh, skin on my face here I've got some blemishes going on um, started having some acne problems and so I switched over I saw some videos from uh, Dr. Berg I think his name is and then another one called uh, the guy's name is Thomas DeLauer and so I started watching a bunch of their videos and uh, I decided to give the ketogenic diet a try. And I've had really great success with it. Uh, the first five days I lost 11 pounds. I know that was all water weight because I was peeing like every 20 or 30 minutes. But uh, I, I was down, after five days I was down a notch on my belt. And since then, I've had to put another notch in my belt because I was out of notches. And so now I need to go get a smaller belt because my pants are already starting to uh, slide off of me now and then <laughs> already. So uh, it's it's going really well, I'll say that. And uh, one of the things I, I, I think about a lot is with the, the health problems I've had over the last few years, especially, well, it's been 10 years uh, to the month, uh, August 2008 was my last radiation treatment for cancer, and things have just kind of steadily gone downhill ever since, and then got really bad last year. So, as you guys know, but uh, so like I said, just been focusing a lot on my health, and uh, we've been working a lot in the garden. Uh, I've been working out here as often as I can. It's been stupid hot lately. Uh, today it's only just a little over 80 degrees, so uh, not too terrible, but uh, it's been above the hundreds. I tell you what, working out in the garden, uh, our corn, I'll have to show you guys. i got a flashlight review to do, and I'll probably shine it on the uh, uh, garden just because it's, it's a floodlight. But uh, just to kind of give you an idea of how wide it goes. But anyway, uh, you know, being... Being in with all them plants that are getting, they're just getting huge this year. We've had a, a ton of rain up until the last week or so. And so everything's just huge. And with it being that hot out, my goodness, it was just like being in a jungle, just sweating like crazy. Anyway, back to the ketogenic diet. What that basically is, is uh, you eat a lot of healthy fats, like 75% healthy fats, 20%. I believe it's 20% uh, protein and then carbs, 5% carbs. So lots of uh, leafy green, dark leafy green vegetables, kale, spinach, broccoli, uh, maybe a little bit of lettuce and, uh, you know, just things like that. The really dark leafy stuff. And then uh, for protein, you know, the, the best cuts of protein. Preferably like grass-fed beef stuff like that uh, stuff that doesn't have hormones and antibiotics in it and uh, But that stuff's really expensive So I mean if, if all you can do is just you know regular stuff from the grocery store or the locker uh, You know that that works too. It's just uh, probably not gonna be quite as effective but um, and then high fats like uh, avocado oil, coconut oil, uh, there's something called MCT oil, uh, medium chain triglyceride, and that basically just turns straight into energy in your body. Uh, it kind of almost, it's it's really, this diet is really easy on the liver, and that's part of why I was uh, uh, interested in it. And so, um, 
you know, my, my liver's not bulging out like it was before, and uh, it's not hurting all the time like it was before. So, you know, th things are looking pretty good, and I'm thinking about uh, ramping up you know, the, the Kydex thing a little more, uh, not doing full time because I don't want to add a bunch of stress and running a business by yourself is very stressful uh, if you've never done it before. But, you know, especially especially if you're doing it completely by yourself, uh, it becomes very stressful and very time consuming. You don't have any time to enjoy life. But um, so I don't want to get quite that far. But uh, uh, yeah, things are looking pretty good. So I'll probably start making videos a little more often. And, um, you know, like I said, I have uh, a few reviews to do. And I'm looking for more gear to do reviews on. Uh, I still got to do a video on my bushcraft kit that I put together. Um, got quite a few things coming up. Got a couple flashlight reviews. I've got a, uh, like a, one of those battery pack generator type things. Um, a different one and it's uh, from an Amazon seller that just contacted me and we'll see how that goes. But, uh, what else? Uh, I've completely revamped my bug out bag, so I need to do a video on that. And, uh, yeah, I've got quite a few things that I need to do videos on, so I got some catching up to do. So you probably see uh, more videos coming more often here in the near future. So I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update on what's been going on and uh, what I've been doing, why I haven't been around a whole lot. And uh, so that's what it is, just trying to get healthy so that I can uh, get back to doing this at the level that I was doing it before, basically. And so uh, getting there a little at a time and... Uh, yeah, things are looking good. So, anyhow, uh, once again, head over to my website, countrypepper.com. Get your entries in on that sheath and knife. The knife does come with it. So, this is very cool. Very cool knife. So, anyhow, I love the companion. It's one of my favorites. So, get on over there get those entries. That'll help me, uh, you know, build up inventory and, uh, you know, improve some of my stuff around here and make things a little easier and... Uh, so maybe I'll get back to doing this full time again. So anyhow, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.